Hey guys, welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So, pretty busy right now, but still gonna get the recording done. Um, it's early Wednesday morning, I had to go to class, but I was busy working on an essay, uh, pretty long essay. That's my fault, that's my fault. I, that's what I get for procrastinating. You know, we had a cool minute to work on it, and I didn't. And it's due on Wednesday, and I did it Wednesday morning, so... <laughs> Yeah, I, I was just uh, I was just reluctant to do it. You know, it was just a really boring essay. The teacher was like, "Hey, you know, in my class, you're just gonna get you know, uh, um, you know, three. Uh, no, you're gonna get five two-page essays." And all of a sudden, he was like, "Hey, this essay right here, this is five pages." Like, what the, what the hell, man? Like, why, why would you do this to us? Why? I thought I thought we were friends. But then all of a sudden, he was just like, "Nope." So, I worked on it. Uh, I'm the BS master, like usual, so I kind of busted it out. It's only four pages, but hey, you know, that's fine. Yeah, I'll just play dumb. I'll be like, oh, you said five pages? Well, it's a reference page, so that's the fifth page. I'm going to play dumb like hella. Like, oops, my bad. I thought you, you know, you know, like four pages plus the reference page, that's five pages. But no, I know, I know what he meant. But I'm going to play dumb. Play dumb. That's how, you know, that's how it works sometimes. Ooh. Agents. I haven't seen them in a cool minute. I haven't seen them in a cool minute. So, what you gonna grab? The Master Hyperion? Well, at least I don't have to worry about you special summoning this turn. And I'll grab the Venus. Wow. No Christia, no Hyperion. Just the classic Venus play. So now what are you gonna do? Please don't tell me you're going to try to summon Venus and summon some Shine Balls. Please don't. Please don't. <laughs> I swear to God, if you try to do that, I will just... Manju. Oh, so it's Herald Agents. Right? Or is it Sephira? Is it Herald or Sephira? Sephira? Sapphire? So, I don't know. It's her name. Harold, yeah, Harold. This should be fun. I love Harold. He's so fun. You're a fairy. Yeah, you're a fairy, mind you. So you're gonna summon Harold on me, and then I'm not gonna be able to do shit. Ah, uh, this is gonna be fun. Gotta gotta figure out a way to deal with Harold. With that big old fucking booty. There's no way I'm gonna get around that booty. Yay, I drew you bell. Thank you. Thank you. So let's see that Spirit Reaper, Krebins, Terror, Phantom of Chaos, and you bell. One, 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 one. So Yay, thanks. Oh, let's see, I can go for our mateys, but why? You know? And summon you and go for mateys, but I'm safer just sitting on the spirit reaper. Why do I open up like ass all the damn time? What's up with this number generator just being so mean to me? Like, hello? Oh, and I was gonna draw Ultimate Nightmare too? Well, thanks. Because I'll drop Low Eater. I got no one else to fucking drop right now. Kamikaze. It's better to Kamikaze than to leave you with that monster on the field. So, right now, it's not looking too hot for this duel. I'm probably going to lose, so that's good to know. Well, maybe I can exasperate his resources, but I doubt it. When I open up ass like this, it's pretty likely that I'm just going to straight up lose. You know? Like Terror, Ubel, Phantom of Chaos, Spear, Reaper, all that. Krebins, just all the limited cards. Are you going to go into your anticlimactic gachi gachi play? I am not a big fan of the whole Shine Ball play. Not even remotely. I just... I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. I was never a big fan of it. Like, oh my god, Venus can summon the Shine Balls to make the gachi? <gasps> Best play ever, like, no. I'm just like, and? 
Like, ooh, you made your Venus a little stronger. Ooh. Yeah, fuck it. I'll oh, just summon Krabbins. I could go for Armadies, but why? I said, my hand is just wow. Now I'm drawing a whole bunch of Armageddon Knights, and I have nothing more to send besides, you know, other Armageddon Knights and Dark Refers. That's great. Uh, it would be nice if I even getting a Dark Refer, I could maybe do something. Maybe I shouldn't have wrote it for the Armageddon Knight if I knew I was going to draw another Armageddon Knight. But hey, hindsight's twenty twenty, right? If I knew I was going to draw you Bell and Terror and all that good stuff. Maybe I should have got Dark Refer, actually. Okay. You're just gonna overlay those two? Okay. And two? Zen mains. Why are you taking the duel so defensively? You should be on the offense. Well, whatever. That is one thing I do not understand right now. Why you're taking the duel so defensively? I can go for a Goyo. I can summon Phantom of Chaos and go right into a Goyo Guardian with Krebins. And then I'll have the monster in the graveyard to summon back later. It's not a terrible play, it's just my hand is kind of bad. I can run over the Gachi a couple times. Some Zen mains and a Gachi. This should be fun. Should be fan fucking tastic. I got nothing to summon back. I can summon back Level Eater and go Mass Chameleon and summon back uh, Level Eater. And then... What can I... I can only special summon from the extra deck. I can have... I have... I can sink into... What? I can sink into Black Rose. I should put Yazi in here. That'd be interesting. I can sink into... Not much. Not much. I'm gonna summon Phantom of Chaos. There's no one's effect I want to copy. Uh, there's no nine. <laughs> I think six, I guess. That was to not only you know get a, a decent beater, but also to uh, get fed to the chaos in the graveyard. So if he ends up killing the Goyo Guardian, I really don't care because I can always just summon Mass Chameleon and do something with that. So he's taking this duel very defensively for someone who, you know, has plays like him. I shouldn't be able to one on the offense right now. Herald time? What? No. No. You must send normal monsters from your deck equal to the top. Yep. Read. Oh my god. Advance ritual art. Oh my god. You must also send normal monsters from your deck to the graveyard whose total level equals the level of the original mo monster. Right there, that second sentence. How do you send fucking Archlord Christia? That's not how it works. Like, read your own card. You're gonna play the deck, read fucking cards. Oh my god. Oh my god, I swear. Like, if you want to activate Adventure Chart and then send that fucking fairy bitch, the normal fairy bitch, then hey, more power to you. Summon, hype, summon fucking Herald. But, if you don't got in the deck, then I don't even know what the fuck you're doing. Alright. Alright. 
Alright, I'm gonna summon Debris Dragon, Debris Dragon summon back Phantom of Chaos, XC into Castell, Castell spin back the Zen mains, yeah. Definitely. How many light oh my god. If I do that, he will summon fucking Christia. Oh, but I'm taking out the Gachi, so then he'll be at five, right? He has one, two, then I'm taking you out, three, four, and then I'm gonna kill you. Five. Yep. Alright. Summon Debris Dragon. Get its effect. Summon Phantom of Chaos. Overlay you two. Into uh Castell. Effect. Detach two. Spin you back unless you have some kind of Herald of Orange Light. No. Return it to extra. I didn't do its first effect. I clearly detached two. Second effect. <sighs> Sorry. Alright. Uh, Goyo Guardian. Attack. Buff that last attachment. Castell attack. Go ahead. You have five. So, no Christia. We do not need Jesus Christ to be hidden in the field. I wonder what the ruling with Goyo Guardian versus uh, Christia is. Like, if I attack Christia, and we both die. I think Goyo Guardian has to be on the field to resolve. So, I don't think I would get to Christia. I think. I don't know. I have to look it up. Not something I'm too worried about right now. You got six cards in hand. Like, come on, man. You got something. I opened up fucking ass. Wow. I opened up fucking ass, but I came through. I fucking pulled through. All right. We'll get one more duel in. So. You know, he was using the fucking the fairy kick your assness, and he's still just. Sure, you know what? I'll do you real quick. Real quick, what door? Alright, this hand's not too terrible. Infernoids? Ow. Lots of back row. So as Infernal Aids, maybe, I mean, you know, there's a lot of things that it could be, just because this card is just so fucking good at just dropping tokens. Just summon a token, tribute it for a Monarch. Summon a token, tribute it for a Hermit Yokai. Summon a token, tribute it for, you know, uh, just anything. So that card is super good, super good field spell. So if you want to hit me with back row, more power to you. Alright, you know how I am. I don't have any background, so these are all bluffs. Let's just do. If you control a monster that is not in front of monster, send this card. But he doesn't control our Fornoid monster. Wait. Wait. If you activate that during the end phase, wouldn't it be destroyed automatically if you control a monster oh never mind never mind never mind if you control a monster that is not in front not just permanent never mind uh i'm gonna change so infernoids too fun also for some odd reason he didn't, didn't get his token is this token optional or mandatory you can special summon, so. AKA, I don't gotta tell him shit. <laughs> Alright, summon Terror. Alright, so what did these guys do? We sent two of the same one, Beals of Boop. Your hand, but banishing one other and throwing monster from your hand or grab. 
Well, the command is blah 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 blah. Once per turn, and you can target one. It's a much more perfect troll. It's trying to target a hand. Once per turn, turn your opponent's turn. Do one more to target one. Well, so that's gonna suck if he starts banishing my shit. I wish I had level eater right now, because if I had level eater. Oh, wait. I can go for the play right now, actually. Uh, it's risque, but I can go for it. I think it might be worth it. If I do it, this might actually be game. Yeah, that is game. If, it, if I pull off this play, that's game. So, I'm going to activate Call of the Haunted. Okay. I'm going to activate Galaxy Queen's Light. All ten. If I do pull this off, this will be game. So let's try to end this with super chocolate fudge covered bottomless, of course. Ah, damn it, <laughs> man, man. I want something fat. I want to get that playoff so bad. That's why I hate this fucking deck. Ah! So fucking annoying. So annoying. One of the reasons why I hate fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! Because there's so much goddamn back row. Like, please, please, sir, have the answers to everything I fucking do. Thank you. I would have game. I would have summoned him, wiped the field, fucking summon Dark Greffer, poke, poke. That would have been game. That would have been uh, 6,700, so that would have been game. Uh, I hate back row. That's all this game is, just trap cards. What makes Burning Abyss fucking good? They're fucking trap cards. I guess I get to see more Burning Abyss now. Now this was a hand of attention now. I told him to. Alright. This guy doesn't destroy all the monsters in the field. Alright. Two. I'll take the 3,000. This guy's like a weird Garunix. Oh, that doesn't help. Nope, you probably got this. What's it say? When it's once per turn during either player's turn, when a spell trap or spell trap effect is activated, you can tribute one monster and you get the activation if you do banish it. Either way, Rota. Okay. Be nice to get that fucking soul charge, but shuffled it away. Go ahead. Yep, I probably lose this. Know why I'm trying to fucking stall out. So he's like a Shien by Tributing Monsters, huh? So far, I am not impressed by Infernoids at all. 
Like I said, if he didn't have to fucking answer with his back row, this duel would have been over. So, so far, I am not impressed by this deck at all. Yep, you might have this. I, I, I expended the too many resources to make that super chakri fudge covered, and you negated my fucking debris dragon. So, uh, at this point, I'm, I'm I'm expunged by resources through back row, which is usually how this deck loses anyway. So, no surprise there. What? What about it? Can I have it? Yeah, sure. No school. No, I'm not my first class. My second class, I have class. What's that? Eleven. Oh. Okay. I'll ask you later. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Because he's just going to negate my limit reverse. Clearly, he's going to negate my limit reverse. Yeah, you got it. Yep. Your back row. Your back row won the duel. Like I said. You didn't have to answer my super chocolate fudge cover, it would have been over, but I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed at all. They're they're not that strong. For for the monsters that are inside of Cleeplet, you're not even nearly as strong as Cleeplet, so besides this little OTK that apparently you have, but ooh, I can get that off consistently. Whatever. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call episode. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of I'm and Why. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. See you guys uh tomorrow using uh, Cosmic Evil. Alright, thanks for watching.